Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and today we're gonna try something a little bit different. So I've played chess for many years now, and 3D printers seem very well suited to printing out chess pieces. And I see a lot of people doing this, so I figured I'd have a go at designing one myself. Before we get started, this format is gonna be just a little bit different, um, because one, there's gonna be no post-processing, I'm just gonna print these and that will be it. And two, it's something that I designed myself and I'm not copying from um, a reference point or anything like that. So I will talk a little bit about my thoughts behind the design process for this um, a little later in the video. So without further ado, let's get started. I designed these files in Fusion 360. I mostly use sketches and a couple of the other tools available to me to create some fun and unique shapes. Now a few of the tools that I used pretty often in this were the Revolve tool, which takes a sketch and revolves it around a particular axis. And then I also use the normal extrude tool as well as um, fillet and chamfer quite often. Then after that I exported them from Fusion 360 and then I sent them over to my Robo 3D R1 printer. I printed them all out in Hatchbox PLA. I printed one set in white and then the other set in black so each side has their own color. I printed them at 0.1 millimeter layer height just to remove some of the visibility of the print lines. I printed them at 20% infill and I designed them so you would not need any support or rafts. And they all printed just fine and since they were 0.1 millimeter layer height they took quite a bit longer to print. I think they took an, a total of 18 hours to print altogether. So let me talk about the design process and the thoughts going on a little bit behind this. So each side has individual pieces. So the white pieces are very, very curved and organic looking and the black pieces are very chunky and um, polygonal looking. So I kind of went for the organic versus mechanical or you know the circle versus square type looks. Um, and that was kind of the theme that I played off. So each piece on opposing sides will look very similar, but you know the white pieces will be very, very curved and smooth. The black pieces will be very blocky. I also tried to keep them somewhat similar to what normal chess pieces look like so they're easily identifiable and you won't have to keep looking up what each piece is supposed to be. Um, the bases for the white team are round like this and for the black team they are um, hexagonal actually. And then they each kind of have this stand and all the stands for the pieces are the exact same. It's just the parts that are on top that change up. So these are the pawns and as you can see the curved ones just have a ball very spherical on the top and then the blocky ones have a, a cube. Next up is the rook and for the blocky one um, it is a square castle tower looking thing that's got square things on the top and other than that a pretty plain piece. And then the round one is the same it's just cylindrical around here and has spheres around the top. And here we have the knights and now these are the most um, uniquely shaped but I think these were actually my least favorite out of the whole set. So as you can see they kind of retain the horse shape but um, definitely not horses. And this one you can see is blocky. And then this is actually the piece I used the loft tool on. And you can see that very nice curvature you have going on there in different thicknesses. Here we have the bishops. And I think these were one of my favorites. Um, they're pretty similar. Like this one specifically is pretty similar to a regular bishop. But um, I cut out sections in the center there and just put a straight cylinder through it. And then I also have this notch in the top. And that's um, kind of just to identify that it is a bishop. And then this is the blocky one. And as you can see, it's got a blocky notch up there. And then um, I did the same thing cutting out the center of it. And, but I just put a square in there. And I think that worked out pretty good considering the rest of the shape is hexagonal. Then next up, we have the powerhouse of the chess world, the queens. For these, I thought it would be cool to create something that has a hollow body like this, but would still print on a normal 3D printer. So these were my solution. As you can see, the bodies are hollow, and these ones are just curved right here, and then this one kind of comes out in almost a trapezoid type shape there. And then around the top, they've got what resembles a crown, with this one having a block and this one having a sphere. And then last, but certainly not least, are the kings. And for these ones, I have these um, sort of arms jetting out, and they're only on one side. And then the crowns are actually pretty cool on there too. And then I decided to put a hole through each of the bodies um, just to give it some sort of uh, unique flair. And I think these turned out pretty cool. And here I'll give you a closer look at all of them. Um, and if you want to see each of these individually, go check out the like Thingiverse page or My Mini Factory or anything like that down in the description you'll be able to see each of the pieces 3D rendered um, 
individually so you can check them out and like i said there are actually two sets here one set is the round and curved set and the other one is the blocky set so if you wanted both of them to be round and curved um, you could do that as well both of them be blocky same thing or you could mix and match the pieces whatever you want to do that's the magic of 3d printing and also keep in mind that all of these should print with no supports now obviously if you're using some sort of crazy material that does not bridge well um, you might need some supports in there but normal things like pla and abs and stuff that can bridge decently um, will have no problem printing these pieces guys well let me know what you think of this um, i love chess and i'd definitely be up for making more chess sets if this is something you guys like i even go into the realm of making some really fancy looking um, chess sets and having my wife paint them so let me know what you guys think and also if you print this you should tweet me a picture i'm at chaos core tech and then feel free to follow me there as well. I do a lot of things with my followers, like putting out polls so they can vote on my upcoming projects. And then if you guys are wondering what to watch next, check the little eye up in the corner. I'll put a couple of fun videos up there. And then make sure you like and get subscribed below if you're not already. And then that'll do it for me, guys. See you next time.